I've been working in local government in rural Virginia for 25 years. Broadband is absolutely going to be an economic development, education, and I would add public safety leveler. Uh, rural Virginia has a lot of, as Stephanie eloquently said, has a lot of challenges. House Bill 2108 effectively and with precision, with precision, halts and bars rural Virginia from realizing 21st education, 21st century uh, ed uh, education, uh, health care, and in public safety. We in Orange County, the Board of Supervisors felt so important that uh, for two years worked on a solution. That solution came with creation of the Orange County Broadband Authority. The fiduciary responsibility has been taken so, so critically by the board, they have appointed themselves as the Broadband Authority so that they can be directly held by accountable by the, uh, the electorate, the taxpayers, that are helped doing uh, this project. We are in the midst of, we borrowed money, we're getting ready to implement a 33-mile fiber optic network with our schools to connect all our schools, and we're getting ready to change our public safety communications network that'll be tied into that network and build towers that'll be available to the private sector to be able to provide wireless broadband in those areas of the county that, that do not have that service. I would say on, on the issue, one of the issues that hasn't been touched on is that governments may not be suited to operating this. We operate telecommunications systems for our first responders. That is something we take with a great deal of seriousness, have done forever. We are going to use that same attention to the operation of the system because it has to work first time every time in building a telecommunication system for our first responders, for our public safety. And they'll be tied into this network here. So I would add public safety to the list of critical communities that need this service. Um, lastly, I, I urge, uh, with, with a lot of uh, outpouring, to, to oppose House Bill 21A because it effectively, in my opinion, after doing this work for about 10 years now uh, in rural Virginia, it stops and bars localities from coming to help themselves because the private sector has not chosen to do so. Thank you.